Autistic Self-Advocacy Network, Wikipedia Article Audio The Autistic Self-Advocacy Network is a 501, non-profit advocacy organization run by and for individuals on the autism spectrum. ASAN holds that the goal of autism advocacy should be a world in which autistic people enjoy the same access, rights, and opportunities as all other people, and that autistic voices should be included in any public discourse on autism, whether in public policy, mass media, or other venues. ASAN is based in Washington, D.C. The Autistic Self-Advocacy Network provides community organizing, self-advocacy support, and public policy advocacy and education for autistic youth and adults, as well as working to improve the general public's understanding of autism and related conditions. The organization is run by and for autistic adults. ASAN's mission statement says that autistic people are equal to everyone else, and important and necessary members of society. ASAN also maintains a network of 25 local chapters based in different states, with three chapter affiliates in Canada and Australia. Services History the Autistic Self-Advocacy Network was co-founded in November 2006 by its former president, Ari N. E. Eman, and former Board of Trustees member and Vice Chair of Development, Scott Michael Robertson. By 2009, ASAN had 15 chapters. ASAN's early work mostly focused on fighting the use of aversives, restraint, and seclusion in special education. In December 2007, they spoke out publicly against Autism Speaks, and against the NYU Child Study Center's Ransom Notes ad campaign, which compared autism, ADHD, OCD, and eating disorders to kidnappers holding children hostage. This counter-campaign put ASAN on the public's radar and has been referred to as the neurodiversity movement's coming of age. ASAN continues to protest Autism Speaks. On July 18, 2016, Ari N. E. Eman announced that he would resign as president of the Autistic Self-Advocacy Network, to be replaced by Julia Bascom in early 2017. Bascom now holds the title of ASAN President. The Autistic Self-Advocacy Network promotes autism awareness and acceptance through public policy initiatives, research reform, and cross-disability collaboration, community outreach, college advocacy, publishing, and employment initiatives. ASAN has also supported initiatives to raise the minimum wage. They also fought against federal contractors paying disabled people sub-minimum wage in 2014. Their campaign to prevent workers from being paid sub-minimum wage by federal contractors was successful. In addition, ASAN has also been involved in helping businesses hire autistic individuals. ASAN opposed Kevin and Avant's law which would have provided money to fight wandering behavior in autistic children. According to an editorial in Vox, ASAN was originally neutral, but after several modifications were made, including tracking people to prevent them from harming others, ASAN and several other disabilities rights groups opposed the proposed law over privacy concerns. Congress failed to pass Kevin and Avant's law. Any Eman also claimed that wandering behavior among autistics was caused by physical and sexual abuse, and therefore the law would ignore the cause of the wandering. In response, Amy S.F. Lutz pointed out that according to the study used for the argument, most autistic children that wander actually displayed positive emotions during their wandering. Lutz also claimed that the privacy hysteria was baseless, as wandering had been an official diagnosis for five years, 
and there are a wide variety of communication devices to put on children are available with no retaliation. Kevin and Avant's law would simply have provided more funding to make those devices available to more people. Activism ASAN is the autistic community partner for the Academic Autistic Spectrum Partnership in Research and Education. The Aspire project brings together the academic community and the autistic community, in a research format called Community-Based Participatory Research, to develop and perform research projects relevant to the needs of autistic adults. ASAN's chapters work collaboratively with the national branch on nationwide projects, an example of this is Day of Mourning an event on March 1 where local chapters of ASAN, as well as independent groups, host candlelight vigils in remembrance of disabled people murdered by their caregivers. The first campaign was suggested by Zoe Gross of California, who had heard of a case where a young autistic man was murdered by his mother who later committed suicide. The vigils honor people with all kinds of disabilities. Local chapters have also protested billboards in Seattle which advocated wiping out autism. Arzu Foro of the organization Washington Autism Alliance and Advocacy claimed that coverage of this event could have misled people about the effects of autism. She claimed that ASAN promoted the idea that autistics have trivial difficulties, obscuring the level of support that some autistics need. The actor William Shatner criticized ASAN after supporters of the organization criticized him for his support for Autism Speaks by claiming I supported an Awareness Day hashtag that appears to be scorned by a group that doesn't want awareness. Shatner described his views on ASAN's activism by stating that instead of making defeating Autism Speaks their main goal, ASAN should advocate for its own views. ASAN published a book for autistic people in college, called Navigating College Handbook. The book was considered the first of its kind. In 2012, ASAN began the annual Autism Campus Inclusion Summer Institute, a week-long workshop teaching autistic students to engage in activism and advocacy on their campuses. Disability rights activist Lydia Brown is an alum of the leadership program. The Loud Hands Project, a transmedia publishing effort for curating and hosting submissions by autistic people about voice, has also been active during 2012, in the form of a Kickstarter campaign and an anthology, both founded and organized by Julia Bascom. Later in 2012, ASAN also published the anthology Loud Hands, Autistic People, Speaking, which features several dozen essays by autistic neurodiversity activists including Jim Sinclair and Ari N. E. Eman. In April 2013, as part of Autism Acceptance Month a counter-movement against the cure-focused Light It Up Blue and Autism Awareness Month movements ASAN launched an Autism Acceptance Month website. ASAN has been critical of statements made which link vaccines to autism. In 2015, ASAN worked with Sesame Workshop to create an autistic character for Sesame Street, named Julia.